What's up guys? Welcome to my first episode of race car build updates and adventures. Uh, as you can see, most of it's already built. It's taken about five or six years to this mark, uh, but there's always plenty more to do. There is a quite a thick layer of dust on it, as you can see. Haven't touched in a while, has been quite hot. Um, we're on our third or fourth day of 40 degrees plus in a row. So not fun times. Bit of a quick history on myself and the car. Had for about five or six years now, bought it as a rolling shell. Didn't have solid plans. Thought I was gonna be building a street slash track car. Got a bit out of hand. Started cutting way too many things off the car to be street regoed. Went with roll cage, etc. Kept going from there. Started off with an RB26 in it. Didn't have the best of luck with that. Spat the dummy, yanked it out and then went down the path of a twin turbo LS. It's been a massive learning curve since I bought this car and have tried to put together as much of it and work on as much of it myself as I can. Bar everything except for, I'd say, the roll cage, which has to be cams approved and also keeping myself safe. I thought better not skimp out on that or have a crack. So I got that done professionally. I've had a mate help with a lot of the fab work on the motor, like these water to air coolers um, and other bits and pieces along the way. He, for the most part, did the turbo manifolds, etc., on the build there. I bought the motor and turbos as a bit of a package from him after I had the dramas with the RB26. People always look at it, assume Skyline rear wheel drive must be a drift car. I've always envisioned myself as doing or time attack, sprints, tarmac rally, whatever else interests me along the way, and go from there. Now, there will be plenty more to talk about later on. I'll go into more depth into certain parts of the build, um, but I'll just keep you updated with what I'm doing today. I had a few packaging issues with somewhere to run that exhaust, so I've just gone out the bonnet for now. But, I am limited to what events I can do, as it doesn't meet the CAMS regulations. So, this is what I've got going on and the idea I've been working with. Run the exhaust through this hole, onto the back of the turbo there. Obviously not easy to be able to have it removable, so I'm going with a V-band clamp to be able to get it to slot through there. Not easily, but it does it to run the exhaust down through the fender area here and hidden by the fender, down the side there and back underneath the car to keep them happy. Let's jump into it. So I've mocked up a few more spots and bends. Um, decided I'm gonna have a crack at it. It's 40 degrees outside, it's about 104 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna jump on the welder, see how I go. I'm by no means a professional welder, self-taught on YouTube, believe it or not, which is probably not that hard to believe considering some of the welds that I come out with. All right, guys, the heat has got the better of me. I'm sweating like George Pell at a Wiggles concert but managed to get a few bits and pieces tacked up. The fender will fit on like such, hiding the exhaust. I have an infill panel that goes in there too, which currently made out of plastic. Maybe time to rethink that. Now I can start working on cutting some more bits and pieces to make the joins and lengths work for back of the turbo to the V-band clamp there. See how it goes. Bit of a shout out to my mate Ben from Lawrence Metal Fab. He has helped me out a lot throughout the build of this car. Always giving advice, always teaching me how to do bits and pieces, not just with Metal Fab, but with painting, putting motors together, etc., etc. He's been there for pretty much the whole build. Also a shout out to Tim from Forged Automotive. I'll drop a link in the description below. Check him out, he's helped me with a lot of the tuning on this car, a lot of mechanical advice, he's helped me out with the clutch and what clutch we should run, 
Uh, done a bit of R&D with a few bits and pieces as well. Uh, very switched on guy, can't thank him enough. That about wraps it up for this first quick episode of the race car build, updates, adventures, anything else I get up to with the car along the way. Hopefully it cools down soon and we'll get stuck into a bit more and get it down to some events.